Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I will be showing you how I've made these item frames inside Minecraft. And the good thing about it is you can actually download this yourself. And I will also include a tutorial on how to install it using MCEdit or using WorldEdit plugin inside your own Minecraft world. Well, as you can see here we have a lot of logos and first let's take a look at how this is actually made well are you ready here we go when you load the world you will get spawned right here here you can see that this item frame map world has been made by the golden apple, which is me. What about subscribing to my YouTube channel to keep updated? If you click this button, you will get redirected to my YouTube channel. The same for my Twitter page. And here we have some tips and tricks. You can read them out. It's pretty useful. And here we have all the maps. So, now I'll give you a quick explanation how this is actually made. And then we will go over to the installation part. So you might be thinking, how is this made? Is it made with mods or anything? No, that's totally not the case. This is 100% made in vanilla Minecraft. And what we actually do is use up an area of 128 by 128 blocks. And within those 128 blocks by 128, we design that specific area. What we can do? is put a logo in it of a certain company, a certain brand, or a sign, or whatever. It's all up to you. As you can see, I've made different logos here. Dr. Pepper, Starbucks, Nike, Converse, Audi, Puma, and Lamborghini. Well, that's not everything. Let's take a closer look. What we also have are the Olympic rings, a reward sign, New York Yankee sign, Acer, HP Computers and Technology, Samsung, Canon, Star Wars of course, NASA, as well we do have some signs here, we have to take aware of trains, pedestrian walk and some arrows. And the good thing about those arrows are that you can rotate them in four different directions. Here we had FIFA, EA Sports, Black Ops, Call of Duty, Minecraft itself, of course, the logo, our favorite engine to search stuff up on the internet, Google, IKEA as well, a white cross, which is symbol of paramedic, the Belgian football team, Juventus, and also, of course, the Rolling Stones. Here we have Michelin brand, you might know it or you might not. Same for Firelli. The blue sign is for toilets, of course. Pretty convenient. Here we have a wheel, which can be used for cars. On the right of your screen, you can see a part of a clock. On the left of your screen, in the green, that is private property sign. Here we have some useful signs. Speed limit 50, 30, 80 or 100 miles an hour, a no entry sign, and last but certainly not least, we have some old decorations for window shutters. Now let's go ahead and I'll show you how to install this on your own server using MC Edit or World Edit. You can also of course have it on your local world in single player. Alright. What you want to do first of all is go to this page, the URL will be in the description down below of this video, click it, it will bring you to this page. It has all the item frames that are implemented in the pack. So what you want to do is when you just want it as a world save, that's perfectly fine, click Minecraft world save. But I'm going to show you how to implement it in an existing world using MC Edit or WorldEdit. I will show you both ways. What you want to do is click 
MC edit. All right, that opens up for me in my default location right here. All right, what you want to do right now is open up the Minecraft world where you want your item frames to be imported in. So what we're going to do is we're going to take out a map. And when we click it, you will just see that the white dot is where we are. And what you need to do now is fly into the corner of the map. Now, let's go down a little bit and we're going to take, let's say, um, blue wool. And what we're actually going to try to do right now is um, to mark out the corner of the map. So as you can see, right there is a small blue dot which is almost perfectly in the corner um, let's see that is the other way around yeah so it should be somewhere about here I guess this should be almost perfect I think if I'm not mistaken and it is almost perfect that line is correct I think we are onto something. Let's check this out. It's very hard to see, I know. But I guess, yeah, here we are. If you watch closely, you can actually see that in the corner, the right bottom corner, is a blue corner marked out right now. And that is the place where your first map is going to be imported. So what you want to do right now is continue marking this out into four different corners like this because that allows you to give you a decent view in all the four directions. Okay, that's fine. Because right now, what we're going to do is load our file that we've downloaded into the server in World Edit. Alright, in order to place the schematic file that we've downloaded onto your server, what you want to do is, first of all, I'm going to rename this. Let's call it um, item frame. Let's much easier to remember. What you want to do right now is resize that window and this window is my server directory. What you want to do is look for your plugins folder. Don't mind all the other folders that you're seeing right here but only look for plugins folder. Go into it. What you need is world of the plugin. If you don't have it yet, download it. I will leave link in the, in the description. World of it schematics and I already have a lot of schematics but don't mind what you want to do right now is drop that into here and here we go it is pasted right there what you want to do right now is start up your server or ask the admin to import this into the world of the plugin directory and now when you're in game I will show you what to do so what you want to do right now is type in schematic load item frame and when you enter right now it's going to take quite some time to load the schematic because it's a huge file so go ahead and do that now you should get a message that the schematic is loaded when you have that message type in slash slash pause minus air like that. Alright, when you press enter right now, you will be good. Another way to import a schematic file is using mcedit. What you want to do is when mcedit is open, click quick load. We're going to take the map that we've uh, just created with the blue square and we're going to hit load. Here is the blue square as you can see. 
Well, on this map, we're going to add the schematic file. In order to do that, click here on Import. Click it. Now navigate to the location where you have saved it. And it, if I remember correctly, we named it itemframe.schematic. Click Open. All right, it took me about five or 10 minutes. And now finally the textures are loaded. So depending on how fast your computer is, the textures will load faster or slower. So what you need to do right now, this is very important. When you go underneath the maps, you will see that right here you have your blue cross. And you have downloaded the maps here. And here between the editors and the PlayStation Red Bull and the uh, yeah, in the Dropbox, there is a cross made out of stone, and the cross out of stone needs to align with the cross of blue wool. So what you want to do right now is move it, and it has to be 100% precise. Let me explain why. If it's not, the item frame is not going to be 100% yeah this is perfect almost so if it's not perfect the map isn't going to be shown 100% in the item frame so let's move it one more okay here we go this is perfect alright almost perfect let's give it one more tweak here we go this is perfect what you need to do now is click import it's gonna take a while I'll let it do its job I'll be right back so now that the schematic file is successfully loaded into our world as you can see the blue lines up with the stone what we're gonna do is click here on MC Edit, click Save As. Now let's call it Tutorial um, on Item Frame. And you're gonna click Save. Now this is gonna take a while, so I'll resume the video when that is done. When MC Edit is done with converting, you can start up your Minecraft, go to a single player worlds, and here is the map tutorial item frame. When you join the world, you will see all the item frames inside of your map so if you would want that your maps are higher than your buildings then you have to move it upwards inside MC Edit but other than that this looks pretty sweet because you can now just take a map let's take an item frame and here we go guys, look at this drum box and you can have this in your world here you go I hope you like this well I hope that this tutorial has been useful to you and still if you would have any questions make sure to ask them in the comment section down below well guys that was it for this tutorial thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one Bye-bye.